Now, campus protests over Israel's war in Gaza are intensifying. From the coast to coast, pro Palestine protesters gathered on the lawns of college campuses today. Some demonstrators have even been arrested. It was a similar scene at the University of Texas at Austin. The protests are happening one day after police and state troopers arrested dozens of people on campus. And our Jason Allen is live in Austin today. And Jason, police didn't move in, though, to break up today's demonstration? They, they did not, Karen. And you can see back here on the South Lawn at UT that the students are, are still here and, and being allowed to be here. Uh, there are police that are on the, the edges of this gathering, this group back here in the lawn. And police were there throughout the demonstration today. However, there was really never any need for them to jump in and take action. What we saw here today was very calm, especially when you compare it to the events that were on campus yesterday. It was organized. Uh, there were faculty and students who were speaking and every phrase that they would have, sometimes every few words, the, the crowd would then repeat it back so everybody could hear it. And whenever it appeared that maybe emotions were starting to get a, a little bit high, somebody would step in, they'd try to bring the temperature down to make sure that it didn't get out of hand. The, the Palestinian Solidarity Committee, student-led committee, planned this walkout second day in a row. Yesterday, of course, when the university had law enforcement break it up, uh, the school said it was out of concern that demonstrators would, quote, take the campus or try to occupy space like we have seen on some of those campuses in the Northeast. But we did not see any effort by students to do that today. And, and we asked some of them what it was that made them feel they needed to leave class and they needed to be out here for this. From a Middle Eastern background, we have this brotherhood that's kind of hard to explain to most people. So above everything, when this is happening in Israel and in Palestine, it doesn't sit right with us to sit in our classes and just not do anything about it. So above everything is solidarity. There was also a group of Israel supporters who were out here. It was smaller, but at times they got loud enough. They were vocal enough that the larger crowd would then try to raise their voices to drown them out. Some of those students, when I talked to them, told me that uh, they were uncomfortable yesterday, uh, maybe even a little bit scared at times, uh, feeling like they needed to stay inside somewhere. But they said they felt it was necessary to come back out today and at least show a, a visual presence, a visual stand for who they are supporting in all of this.